What's up everyone? Brett here, your Fort Bend County, Texas Realtor. Want to go over a quick question that I get a lot from people. If I'm building a new home, do I really need to get it inspected? This is an impromptu video. I'm just going off the top of the dome. I know, I know, there's not much there. Ha ha ha. Okay, got that out of the way. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to dispel a couple um, you know, misnomers and, and some things that um, most people don't consider or some people might not consider. When getting a home built, your three phases of an inspection are going to be your pre Pour, your pre-pour, your foundation, um, your pre-drywall, and then your final. So the pre-pour, most people don't do this. I've probably built 60 or 70 homes, and I'd say two or three of my clients have done the foundation inspection. The reason being is that most builders are gonna have a third party engineer on site while the, while the uh, pour is going on. So it is in everyone's best interest for the foundation to be done right, because the new home builder is gonna warrant the home at least for one year, you know, bumper to bumper, two years mechanically, and then 10 years for the structurals, the typical warranty, at least in Texas. So it's in everyone's best interest because all things um, can kind of cascade down and go bad from the foundation if it's not poured right. And then you also have a lot of city and county types, depending on where you live, that get involved in the foundation pour. Um, but if your inspector does go there or you're planning on getting the other two inspections, he might run you a good deal for all three. So if it ends up being only 150, 200, 250, to get that, that pour um, inspection before they pour it, go for it. Um, they'll just go out there and make sure that there's no debris between the pods and, and make sure that the plumbing lines are all there according to the blueprints. And sometimes the blueprints are even hard to, to get a hold of, so they might not have them. Um, but they just wanna make sure the site's clear, it's ready to be poured. They might make a few, um, point out a couple things about the rebar extra support somewhere but for the most part not much fanfare is made about the um the pre-pour um, inspection the second phase the most important in my opinion is the pre-drywall the pre-insulation inspection this is killer this is the best one i mean this is if you're only going to do one do this one you can always do a final inspection even if the home's 80 years old right this is the only time that you'll get to see the guts the innards the mechanicals the plumbing the electrical I cannot, I cannot stress how important this inspection is, and a lot of people pass it over. Um, again, 350, 450, depending on the size of the home, depending on the inspector, right? But you're gonna get, this is the best bang for your buck with an inspection. This is the only time you'll be able to see behind the walls. I mean, you'll be able to get an infrared or a thermal, you know, and pull, pull images, but you'll never be able to see in detail this kind of stuff that goes behind the construction. So, um, you know, I. 80% of this inspection, in my, in my experience, has to do with the framing, making sure that there's enough support, that the ceiling joints are being supported, that there's enough studs, that faulty studs that are burnt, that are furred out, that are, that are already kind of compromised, get replaced or get married together with an additional stud by it. Um, make sure the plumbing lines are good. The, sometimes the dryer vent goes down and angles in the middle of the garage or wherever it's going and there's going to be condensation accrue and then you'll have water at the at the bottom of it and it's going to you know go through the sheetrock i get that a lot um with the dryer vent venting out to the side of the home um some other stuff but it's mainly the framing and the framing is a big big part of it so again something my um and my one of my inspectors robert wait he's always says he always tells my clients he's like hey Get an email address, and if your home address is 1234 Main Street, you know, do 1234 Main Street at gmail.com. Take pictures of every room, even do slow scrolling video of every room you're standing in before the sheetrock goes up. Why? So you can know where your supports are, you can know where everything is mechanically. Whenever you, you know, once the sheetrock gets put up, unless you tear it down, you're never gonna see there again, right? So, you know, get an email address set up just for the home construction pictures and that whole, that whole phase. Um, from from pour to the finish, put all your pictures. Go visit the site a lot, and then you'll 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 have basically the the, the drawing. Um, you'll you'll know where every room is, and I would do every room a 360 or take steel frame or panoramic views. That's just a side note. Um, but that is the most important inspection in new home process is the pre drywall. The finish inspection typically takes place 10 days or so before closing, and that's gonna be more your finishes. They're gonna make sure that all the appliances are hooked up, that everything's in square, your windows, none of the seals are broken, because it's, you know, uh, it's uh, construction people and all, your, and all your trades are notorious for scratching the, the surface of the bathtub, cleaning their paintbrushes here, nicking up this, nicking up that. Um, it's a lot of finishes stuff, making sure the moldings are done right. The, I get a lot of nail holes that are put on the baseboards and even the, the molding around uh, 
the, the island, the cabinetry, where they're not puttied over and they're not stained, and it, it's a lot more finishes. Um, and that's there's not as much again fanfare, right? There, there's, it, it, there's usually not as much stuff that comes up on that, and if it is, it's usually easily fixable. It's still, in my opinion, the most traditional inspection, the second most important inspection. Um, but again, you can do that in month 10 or 11. And they usually have a one-year warranty where they'll come back and they'll kind of redo some of the, the sheetrock cracking. They'll they'll tighten up some stuff. If you've had some taping and floating that's come undone, it's more uh, more common on two-story homes because the home's settling and you know yada yada yada. But again, even in 20 years from now, you can always get that third inspection product done at any time because it's the finished inspection. So again, in recap, yes, get a, get a, get an inspection on all new construction. If you're building or you can catch it in time on an inventory home, a spec home, to be done before the insulation and the drywall goes up, do it, okay? Um, another question is, do I need to get an inspection on a resale home? That would be the shortest video I'll ever do because the answer is yes, yes, yes. If you don't want to do that, find another real estate agent because I don't want that in my life. Um, I've never had somebody do an inspection and spend 400 bucks or something and, and, and come away with Man, I wish I wouldn't have done that. So, you know, get inspections. The more, the merrier. And um, if you like the video, please comment below. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, reach out to me. Go to my website, brettwallace.com. My cell phone number's on there. My email, reach out to me. If you want me to discuss a topic um, that's of interest to you, go ahead and let me know. Otherwise, have a great day. Thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate you guys' time. Have a great one.